also time for one of our favorite segments, Foodie Friday. Our next guest spent nine years in the Army but decided to try his hand as a chef, and he is succeeding. His journey actually started in Japan, and now the North Carolina native is in Chicago at one of the city's most acclaimed restaurants. Please help us welcome Chef Chris Dotson to start your day. Good morning. So glad to have you with us. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. So we are cooking up some crab toast. Now crab toast is maybe something a lot of people haven't heard of. So tell us a little bit about your inspiration for this dish. Um, it's actually a dish I picked up uh, a few years ago, but uh, crab is one of my favorite things to eat. So I figured, you know, it's great for breakfast. Put it on toast, everybody can enjoy it. All right, mine too. So let's get started. Walk us through what ingredients do we need and how do we start putting this together? All right, so we start, we're gonna make a and aioli, and aioli is a, a mayo with garlic. Um, you need your egg yolks to start the aioli, a little bit of uh, canola oil, some garlic, which we'll smash and we'll go ahead and get started on it right now. Um, and, and while you're cooking, let's just chat because I was reading that you grow a lot of your own vegetables and produce. That's so amazing. How difficult is that to do? And for someone who's maybe interested in creating a, a home garden, what suggestions maybe do you have? Well, I started the garden during the, during the pandemic. Um, it was the very first garden I ever made, so it was pretty pretty simple for me, actually. It came pretty naturally. I just, you know, looked up a, a few things and got it started. I grew with some herbs, which I use every day, lots of squash and kale. Uh, I highly recommend it, but it's super simple. Yeah, I know. I, I hear that a lot, that a lot of people during the pandemic started growing their own crops because it just sort of made us reevaluate um, sort of what access we have to fresh uh, fruits and vegetables in the worst case scenario. So uh, if someone's just starting out, what are some of the easiest crops to grow? Uh, definitely herbs. Herbs, they grow. You just put them in the water, put them in the dirt, and they grow naturally. But I'm not, I'm not a big farmer. This is just a little backyard garden. Yeah, and the nice thing about herbs is you just, uh, when you put them on something, they make everything seem just uh, a little more, uh, I don't know, restaurant style, right? Yeah. Okay, so walk Fresh. us through the process. What are you doing right now? All right, so I mix some garlic. So you take your whole clove of garlic, smash it, and you hit it with a little bit of salt. You can just press it with the side of your knife. Um, I'm adding that to my egg yolks, and I'll slowly whisk in some canola oil. So I'm making the mayo instead of buying it because it's so simple, it's much cheaper and a bit healthier. Um, so I smashed up my eggs and I'll just slowly drizzle in the, the oil. And I know for this recipe, and I know for this recipe you used the Dungeness crab, but can you do crab legs if that's more accessible or do we really need to stick to sort of the Dungeness? No, you can use lump crab meat, uh, Dungeness crab, crab legs, but uh, Dungeness is a little bit more expensive, a little more high end, uh, I'm a little fancy. Oh, love that. Okay, what's next? All right, so you add some lemon. In order to keep from getting seeds in the lemon, you just slice it and you can use the cheeks. And we call this the lemon cheek, so uh, there's no seeds here. So the lemon is gonna really wake it up you can add some obey. Obey and crab is a classic pairing. And you just slowly add in your oil. So this is going to be the base. Then you're going to layer the crab on top and add the fresh herbs. You make it look so easy. Tell us a little bit while you're cooking about your journey. So I want to hear more about this. You started in the military, and then how did you transition over into being this acclaimed chef? I was in the Army for about nine years. Um, I was an artilleryman at first. Then I reclassed to supply. I was stationed in Japan. I saw a documentary on Bobby Flay, and I saw that he didn't graduate high school. While I graduated high school, that gave me a bit more motivation. It's like, I could do this. So I decided to get out. I went right to culinary school. I worked in one of the best restaurants in El Paso, because that's where I lived. And then um, I saw a documentary about the lineage, and I decided to send them an email. 
sent them an email, very heartfelt, lots of pictures, and they gave me the opportunity to come and do a, a stagiaire. A stagiaire is where you come and train. Basically, it's a working audition. Um, they offered me a job. I worked there for two years. Wow, your story is so I inspirational. We have about 30 seconds. So um, I know, you know, you're in Chicago and that is a competitive food city. So how does that competition keep you motivated for a little motivation on this Friday? Well, I love what I do. Uh, I'm very competitive by nature and I like to win. So I wanted to work at the best restaurant in the world. So I knew I would have to compete and work harder than everybody else just because it's a second career for me. So I'm self-motivated, I'd say. Well, that is terrific. We wish so, you continued you success. And uh, as we head into break, do we have one more picture of what the finished dish looks like? Uh, don't forget, you can check him out on his Instagram at Cook with Chris and at Chef Chris Dotson. Thank you so much for joining us on this Foodie Friday.